Uh, amen. You here at the Miracle House of Prayer, those of you that are in house with us today, give yourself a hand clap. Oh, come on, come on, give yourself a hand clap. Glory to God. Amen. And certainly we welcome our Facebook audience, amen, on today that have been so supportive of us of the Miracle House of Prayer right here at 604 East 38th Street. Uh, amen. We have had testimonies uh, from all uh, over the nation. Uh, amen. Let us know that we can see you here. We can see you there uh, in the, uh, California. And, uh, just, uh, you know, wherever Facebook is, and that's everywhere. Glory to God. And we are excited. Amen. Because, you see, the Lord is doing what he wants to do. Glory to God. And that is to put us in position to reach the souls. How many of you know that the souls are dying every day without Jesus? Hallelujah. Well, I want you to know that that is the case. But it don't have to be. Amen. Why? Because we can choose him. And we can choose him who? Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. And when we choose him, we choose everlasting life. Glory to God. So we welcome, uh, amen, each and every one of you. And we want to say to you today, you can, uh, amen, uh, write Bishop and Pastor Coleman uh, at P.O. Box 681973, Houston, Texas, 77268. And you can also call uh, uh, Bishop and Pastor Coleman uh, at our 800 number, uh, 870, uh, uh, 870, I got it, amen, uh, 3414, amen, uh, 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 that's our, amen, number that you can reach us with and we'll reach back out to you. Glory to God. Amen. And we're looking forward to going higher today. Now you can also cash out us at M dollar sign M H P T C. And you can also uh, send a check in the mail to 604 East 38th Street, Houston, Texas, 77022. So if you want to bless this church, it's no problem. You can bless this church in many ways. Hallelujah. So we are looking to the Lord today. We're looking to go higher today in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you would, uh, our scripture for today, uh, St. John 9 and 4, why don't you rest on your feet, amen, and, uh, and repeat. St. John 9 and 4, amen, with us. I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day for the night coming when no man can work. While you are standing, we'll go to the throne of grace in prayer. Precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for light, health, and strength. We thank you for how you have moved by your spirit already, even in our Sunday school this morning. As you gave us the lesson on Isaiah's permission, Lord, we are so glad that each and every one of us that are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost are commissioned to obey you. Lord, we have a work to do. But I will thank you that you said that, that we shall work while in the your day. For the night coming when no man can work. Lord, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for opening up the vision that, that we can see you out, out of all of the things that's going on in this earth. Lord God, we see them, uh, but we pray for them. Uh, but Lord God, we see you as our leader, as our guide, the Holy Ghost that brings all things to our remembrance, the Holy Ghost that leads and guides us. Lord, we thank you this day for salvation in Jesus' mighty name. And give the Lord a big hand clap. Amen. And you can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. We're just grateful Amen. And we love the Lord. We thank the Lord how he's moving in the midst 
amen, of the miracle of the house of prayer, slash miracle of the house of prayer, Marcola, amen, and as you can see, amen, we have joined together in this one location, amen, to lift up the name of Jesus, glory to God, at this time, amen, we want to put you into the hands of none other than our minister of music, Right here at the Miracle House of Prayer, Minister Bernard Werner. Come on, give him all the hands for the man of God. Come on, give him all the hands for the strength, Lord. Strength like no other, Hallelujah. You are my strength. Thank you. 
didn't stay there. Yeah. Uh, but on the third day morning, all right. Thank you, Miracle House of Prayer, Sash Arcola. Come on, put your hands in that house. Amen. For that awesome song. At this time, we are grateful to present to you our speaker of the hour. Certainly, we don't have to introduce her to many people anymore. Amen. Because she is well known. She is ready to serve the Lord. And as Isaiah said the Lord to the Lord this morning, here am I. Sent me. And certainly the Lord has sent this lovely young lady to minister to the multitude in this last of evil days. And I would like to say that uh, not only is she the pastor and first lady of the Miracle House of Prayer, Temple Church, slash Akora, but she's also the first lady of the Miracle House of Prayer churches. Amen. Amen. Oh yes, oh yes. She's also the first lady of the Full Gospel Fellowship of Concerned Pastors. Glory to God. My God. And she is the mother of my three children, the grandmother of my six grandchildren, and uh, the most lovely wife anyone could have. So I am truly blessed. Without any further ado, receive Pastor Lois G. Coleman. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. We're going to go right into the scripture, Isaiah 6, 1 through 8. Right. Praise God. And it's talking about in the year that King Uzzah died, uh -huh. I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, mm -hmm. high and lifted up, yeah. and his train filled the temple. Yes, it Above it stood the sepulchres. Each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me. I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has charged thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. The vision Isaiah had was a pre-incarnate appearance of the Lord. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the finished work at Calvary, the blood of Jesus that takes away the sins of the world. Jesus was crucified between two thieves. The eighth verse of this chapter say, Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. Yeah. Hallelujah. The title of our subject is taken from that eighth verse. Lord, I am available to you. Oh, my Isaiah presented, presented true repentance. He saw himself undone. Lord, I am available to you. Church, can you say that? Yeah. Can you say, Lord, Lord I am available to you? As I saw you making your way into the house of the Lord, you were saying, Lord, I am available. As I saw you study your Sunday school lesson and make such great comments on what you were doing in the community, you were saying, Lord, I am available. As I saw the young people come in and attend in their intermediate classes, you were saying, Hallelujah, Lord, I am available. I want to learn more about you. I want to be on time for church. I want to witness. I want to do whatever I find my hands to do in the church. It's no time to stop now. Can I get an amen right now? Yeah. Hallelujah. Continue the work of the Lord. Yeah. If it's dusting, continue the work of the Lord. If it's sweeping, continue the work of the Lord. I am available. Hallelujah. As I saw, saw some step in to uh, take over Sunday school. Hallelujah. Because the superintendent is not in place at this time. Hallelujah. But they stepped up to do what they can do. And they said, Lord, I'm available unto you. Hallelujah. Use me, Lord. Don't you want to be used to Jesus? I do as I prepare. Uh, I am available to you. I didn't know it was going to be the sir, 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 the uh, subject of the Sunday school. Hallelujah, brother, hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, I'm Lord. available to you. Lord. Clean me up, Lord. Wash yeah. me that I might be whiter than snow. Purify me, hallelujah. Glory to God, this is the on time battle with the devil, hallelujah. But how many know we gonna win? Yeah. Hallelujah, we gonna win, I'm gonna win. Hallelujah. I'm going to fight him on every hand. Hallelujah. But I'm going to do the will of the Lord. I'm not going to be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. Because why am I not ashamed? I'm not ashamed because it is the power of 
of God unto salvation. I'm so glad that I listened to my mother. Children, listen to your parents. I'm so glad that I listened to mother and father and I got saved. Yeah. I became a born again Christian. Yeah. I was a good young lady, but I didn't know a savior. Somebody say savior. Yeah. That saved me, hallelujah. Yeah. And I'm so glad that's the best gift my parents could have given me yeah. to tell me about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ephesians 2 and 10 say, for we are God's masterpiece. Uh -huh. Do you know sitting next to you is a masterpiece of the Lord, your child. Hallelujah. It's a masterpiece of God. He has created us anew yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So we can do the good things he planned for us a long time ago. Yeah. He planned for us to live in victory, yeah. to walk in victory, yeah. to have power that Jesus Christ left for us. Hallelujah. He said, if I go not away, I can't send the comforter. Aren't you glad that the comforter has come? Yes. Has he consolated you? Oh, yes. Amen. You are a masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Yes. And he intends to reveal himself in you. How many know that he'll give you uh, gifts and talents? Hallelujah. To share Hallelujah, with his people to help in the body of Christ. You have gifts that you can offer to this church, hallelujah, to help the progress of the church. Yes. We have talents, but don't put your talents in a bag and not use them. Young people, you have ideas for the church, hallelujah. Don't put your talents, don't bury your talents, hallelujah. Praise God. Do things for the community. I know several of our young people that are working with their, the community through the church, and I thank God. But find out what you are good at and do it. If you make cards and give out in the community, anything. Most of the time when they say the community needs help, we think of food. Hallelujah. Right. Giving, giving food out. Hallelujah. But they need your helping hand. Yeah. They might just need a smile. They, they need you to tell them that they can make it. They need you to invite them to church. Hallelujah. Yeah. Aren't you glad that you can use uh, your talents and your voice, hallelujah, yeah. for the service of the Lord Jesus Christ? I'm reminded in Matthew uh, 25, 14 through 13. I won't read it all, but for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And he gave one five talents, he gave another two talents, and then he gave one uh, one talent. And all of those, uh, uh, the five, they worked, they praised God, they shared their talents, and they profited. They had ten talents when the master and servant came back. The other, same thing too. But there was one that had one talent. He sat in church and he didn't want to do anything. He sat in his neighborhood and he didn't do anything with what the Lord gave him. Hallelujah. He didn't put his uh, talent to use. Hallelujah. Go up with the Lord. He wants us to use what he's given us. Uh, young people singing to the glory of God. Wasn't that beautiful? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm a musician of the yeah. Miracle House of Prayer. Yeah. Praising the Lord yeah. and I praise and worship yeah. out of the depths of his heart. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. He wants us to continue. <laughs> praise that he told the one that didn't use his talent. That one said that he knew that the Lord was a mean, mean master. So he buried his talent. But the Lord told him, he cast him, this unprofitable uh, man, servant, into outer darkness. At the end, don't you want to see Christ? Oh, yes. Yeah. Accept him today as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. At the end, don't you want to hear him say, well done. Yeah. He don't want no lukewarm yeah. servant, hallelujah. He said, you either need a hot or cold, I'm going to cast you out of my Hallelujah. How many went to, um, you know, to pe 
pick up something, even a pen, simple as a pen, and it won't write. Don't you kind of get frustrated? Hallelujah. And it won't write. Hallelujah. But that's what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. He wanted a profitable servant. Hallelujah. He wanted to be able to use you. Are you available this morning? My assignment was, are you available this morning to work for the Lord? Praise God. Pray ye therefore. Okay, the Lord would like laborers. He said the uh, the laborers are few in the house of the Lord. Look around. The laborers are few. But the harvest is right. There are people that need to know our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's give him a hand, a hand clap. Praise God. And he was, uh, the Lord, in this chapter, we're going to, and Jesus went about all the cities, that's Matthew 9, 35 and 38. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And that's what the people of God, the ministers are doing, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And you know, you sit by and you say, well, why do we have to go to church? I mean, why do we have to go to church every Sunday? For food, for spiritual food. Hallelujah. Sometimes, not this body, but sometimes people are out there, they don't pick up their Bible until the preacher preach the word. That's why we have the preaching of the gospel. Hallelujah. So to make the people know the word of God. To give them a chance, hallelujah, to learn of his word and to repent, hallelujah. If you need repentance, repent, hallelujah. It's good to just uh, admit to the Lord, hallelujah, even if you don't know any particular thing. They have a, a sin, I believe, of omission and commission. Praise God. Tell the Lord to wash you. I tell him every day, Lord, wash me. Lord, clean my mind. Hallelujah. And, and then I feel like a new person. Yeah. Hallelujah. Going through that every day. Lord, wash me that I might be whiter than snow. Yeah. I love you, Lord. Wash me. Hallelujah. That I can do your will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Whiter than snow. Clean my mind. I didn't want a clean mind in Christ Jesus. I, I want a clean mind. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We might not be as David when David uh, uh, had sin with Bathsheba. Hallelujah. But when he was convicted of it, he said to the Lord, created me. That scripture didn't end with David. Hallelujah. Created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Sometimes you can think wrong about your sister and brother. Hallelujah. The enemies that give you thoughts quick. But what do we have to do with those thoughts? We have to cast them down. Somebody say cast them down. Even on the school campuses, they might give you a bad thought or, or tell you something to do. And we see that happening over the world. Hallelujah. But we need to cast down. We need to know how to cast down. Hallelujah. The spirits that come to tell you to destroy. Hallelujah. Cast it down. Hallelujah. Oh, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Say, Lord, cover us with the blood of, at our schools. Cover us with the blood of Jesus in our communities. Hallelujah. On the highways, oh God. Let that car that want to um, honk at you, let him go on by. Hallelujah. Plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yes. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them. You can't perform no miracles without compassion for the people. You have to love the people in order for the Lord to use you. How you have to be moved with compassion. Because um, but the Lord, he healed the people because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly, can you see Jesus sitting there looking over the harvest? He was looking even through the times of, and of times, uh, even to this day. Hallelujah. The harvest truly 
is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The ones that are preaching, they sit down not preaching. Hallelujah. The ones that are supposed to be witnessing on their job, and we had a great example this morning, uh, Sister Ann gave us how she just a light. She does a light on her job, and you can just see it all over as she gave the testimony. She said the people, they see the Christ in, uh, in her. The laborers are few. The harvest is plenteous. Thank you, Lord. Mother Pat was giving us an example in her community, hallelujah, how she just loved the people. She don't care you know, she does not love them because of their sins. She loved them anyway. Clap your hand. That's a good testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you love all men, all women, boys and girls? Hallelujah. Do you love them? Hallelujah. Do you pray for them? So the Lord commanded us in the 38th verse, and that's still Matthew 9, 35 through 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest. How many know his name? Who is the Lord of the harvest? Who, who is the Lord of the harvest? That's Jesus Christ. That's his name. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth the laborers into his harvest. Hallelujah. I, I'm just so thankful on this morning I sought the Lord. Anybody ever see? Sought the Lord. I was up early, hallelujah. I was laid down late. I sought the Lord and he heard me. Aren't you glad he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears? How is it good to serve a Savior, hallelujah? How that you do what he tells you to do? Hallelujah. He heard me and he delivered me from all my fears, hallelujah. I used to love to hear. Brother, a pastor, the late pastor Eddie Robinson, when he said he used to look at their faces and he was afraid. Oh God. But one day, hallelujah, he could preach, hallelujah. He could look into their faces, hallelujah. He had the strength of the living God. How many know he's alive and well? I have the strength of the living God. Yes, Lord. Yes. So, I was thinking about Saul as he was on the road to Damascus. These are people that humbled their lives and said, I am available. Yeah. I am available. Hallelujah. Wow. Sometimes you have to go through some things. Hallelujah. Wow. I think I went to a high height after my car accident. When I got up out of that accident, it was like Moses stepping a hallelujah with the Ten Commandments in his hand. You know, when he went out to be with the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory with this miracle. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm available, Lord. Uh -huh. I'm available. Such a miracle. Yeah. Oh, he'll, he'll take it deeper. Hallelujah. He'll clean it up when you need to be cleaned up. Yeah. I am available. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then after going through a pandemic, not being able to be with the saints, not being able to uh, be encouraged by the saints in person, not being able to shake their hands, not being able, hallelujah, to just love on the saints of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I know over time, uh, when I was a young woman in this church, you know, sometimes you can just do things out of routine. Hallelujah. I've been going to church for over 70 years, so you do things, sometimes you can, you know, when I was a young, young lady, but after the pandemic, hallelujah, whoever is up, I'm in tune to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, after being out of the house of the Lord, hallelujah, for, uh, for two years, or, um, um, more or less, hallelujah, I was glad when they said unto me, let us
on the road to Damascus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He was taking letters to persecute the saints. And he thought he was doing God's service. Hallelujah. But one day, hallelujah, a light shined from heaven. One day, hallelujah, oh, a light shined from heaven. And a saw fell to the ground. And I heard a voice say, the Lord will speak to you. You better, church, you better get right. The Lord will speak to you. He said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Thank you, Jesus. And Saul said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord, that I persecute you? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the prison. And she saw trembling and a stutter and said, Lord, what? Somebody say what? What, what will thou have me to do? In your homes, hallelujah, ask the Lord, what will thou have me to do? He wanted you to witness to your husband. He wants you to witness to your children. He wants you to show love. He wants you to have endurance. Lord, what will thou have me to do? I have this teenager that's unruly. I'm just, just giving parables. Hallelujah. But you can say, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And he will, he will tell you what to do. He arose and the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Paul, as you know, was a chosen vessel. And one thing, so Paul did the work. He did the work. He left an example for us. One instance when Paul was arrested, hallelujah, and he had to go before King Agrippa. Hallelujah. And they had put him in prison and he had the chains. Hallelujah. And he stood to tell his story to King Agrippa. Hallelujah. King Agrippa asked him the story. He said, I was just preaching to the Gentiles, hallelujah, because this was his commission, to tell, to share the gospel to the Gentiles, those rejected people, tell them that they should repent and turn to God and do the meat for repentance. And he said, for this cause, they put him in jail. But one day after Paul kept witnessing to King Agrippa, after he just kept witnessing and telling about the goodness of the Lord and what had happened and how he had seen that light on the road to Damascus. This is what Paul and Rupert said. Almost thou hast persuaded me to be a Christian. See, Paul witnessed so powerfully and he said almost. But we want to, we don't want it to be almost. Hallelujah. We want the people to repent and do the first works over. You can't make it into heaven unless you repent. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be baptized, hallelujah, with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. But Paul said, I will to God. And this is the requirement or the request or the prayer of all the saints of God. I would to God that not only thou, but all that hear me this day were both sin, were both almost and all together such as I am, except these bones. That was Paul, don't you wish that your family and you pray that your family will be saved, would be saved, Hallelujah. It is God's will. And this was the prayer in Paul's heart. He would that all be saved. That all would hear his story. And he believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 12 and 1. The time is far spared. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the view of God's mercies, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. And the King James Version, that was the NIV, 
King James Version say, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And he was saying, I beg you. I plead with you. We cannot do this work but by the Holy Spirit. We have to put our faith in Christ and what he did at the cross. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. Somebody say transformed. Transformed. Transform. We can have some of the things in the world, but we don't want to be confirmed conform to this world, but be transformed, hallelujah, by the renewing of your mind. We must think spiritually, for the devil bring your thought about your sister, the brother, you must think spiritually, that ye may prove what is that good and perfect will of God. I praise God. My assignment, hallelujah, was, Lord, I'm available to you. You gave me my hands to reach out to men, yeah. to show him your love yeah. and your perfect plan. Yeah. You gave me ears I can hear, yeah. your voice so clear. I can hear the cries of sinners. You know, they want to be saved, but cannot wipe away their tears. You gave me my voice to speak the word, to sing all your praises to those who never heard. But with my eyes, I can see a need for more availability. I've seen the hearts that have been broken, so many people to be free. And I say, Lord, I am available to you. Use me, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Hallelujah. To set your people free. Hallelujah. I'll do what you say. Hallelujah. Because he told me to just, it just fell on my heart. I'm available to you. Hallelujah. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way. And able me to say my storage. That means mine. I'm empty on the sin side for you, Lord, to come in and fill me. Hallelujah. That I might do a work for Christ. My soul marriage is empty. Hallelujah. But I am. I am. Hallelujah. I am available to you. Now I'm giving back to you. All the tools you gave to me. My hand, my ears, my eyes, hallelujah, to see. So I can use them, Lord, as you please. I have emptied my cup so that you can fill it up. Oh, Lord, I am available. Somebody say available. In the home, say available. I am available to you.
name of Jesus. Lord, even have to listen to the word on today. There are many out there in Facebook land, all over this world, that have not given to you, have not given up to you. They're yet walking in sin. But Lord, after this message today, cause them to have a heart and a spirit that they want to make themselves available to you. They want to be used by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Help them to say within their heart, Lord, forgive me. I've been running a long time. I've been using excuses not to obey you. But after this message of this word on today, Lord, I want to make myself available. I want to lay aside every way that you have seen that so you can set me because I'm ready to run now. I'm ready to obey you now. Lord, forgive me and I'll serve you the rest of my days. In Jesus' name, amen. If you confess today and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you are saved. Stay there. Keep on moving forward in God. Come to the miracle house of prayer. Watch us online or find a church that's a true word.